get my fans on me. They dig them up. They don't be about to sell them. Think about Trey. I'm finna go dig them up. Before today's video start, I just wanted to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, which is going to be called Guapchi. They offer services for many amounts of games, as you guys can see. They also have great prices for their services, and the service is fast and 100% trusted. So please be sure to check the description down below and check them out. Thank you to Guapchi, and thank you guys so much. Now let's get started with the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Charles UK, coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys see from the title of today's video, I'm back again with three more ruin glitches after the most recent patch on Elden Ring, which is patch 1.05. Before I even do get started, make sure you guys do drop a like on this video and make sure you do go into the pinned comment down below and join my Discord. Also, make sure you guys do check out today's video sponsor once again, which is Guapchi. But now that all of that is out of the way, let's get started with the video. So for the first method I'm going to show you guys, you're going to be needing these two things right here, which is two bandit occult curved swords. As you guys can see, you'll be needing Shaviri's Woe and you'll be needing the Ritual Swords Talisman. You also can use the Golden Scarab. It's completely up to you. That's really neither here or there. Make sure in your Wondrous Physics, you do have these two tiers that I have have as you guys can see on screen right now you want to have the green spill crystal tier the green burst crystal tier and you guys also want to make sure that you are running a pickle turtleneck you can use the blood bowl aromatic that's completely up to you but if you want more damage you can use this and you also will be needing a mimic tier and now the boss that we're going to be implementing all this cheese on is going to be loretta the knight of the hell tree now i don't see too many people covering this boss you know so i wanted to give people sort of a good guide to defeat her every single time and this works 100 percent but what you guys basically are going to do before entering the boss's area is double hand the left side of your sword and go ahead and cast Sapoku as you guys see me doing right now once you've done that you're just gonna hold triangle tap r2 then cast Sapoku once again then you're gonna cast your blood boil aromatic as you guys can see me doing you're gonna sip from your wondrous physics and then you're gonna bite your turtleneck once you've bitten your turtleneck you want to uh transition over to your mimic tier walk into the boss arena go ahead and cast your mimic tier just like that and wait until your mimic has taken aggro from loretta now it is very key that once the mimic does take aggro from loretta that you do take off Shabiri as well. In this gameplay, I forgot to take it off, but once the Mimic has taken aggro, all you guys simply are going to do is go in with slashing attacks. And uh, basically you guys seen just from that one attack, uh, her health is literally almost halfway gone. And uh, that's all that you guys basically are going to do is go ahead and uh, slice her on out because the um, tears that we did use in our uh, Wondrous Physic is gonna give us crazy amounts of stamina uh, for a short period of time. Also, we are getting a whole bunch of stamina from our Pickle Turtleneck as well. And that basically allows us to just swing for however long as we would like. And you will be able to eliminate her pretty, pretty fast as you guys can see and get almost 600,000 runes. Now you can get more runes if I was to uh, bite my Golden Foul Pickle Foot. Uh, but as you guys just saw, that is a crazy amount of runes and i think we literally i literally killed her in like 20 to 30 seconds you guys can do the math on that but that's how you will defeat her very easily i don't see too many uh methods on that but yeah that's how you guys will defeat her after the most recent patch 1.05 now let's get started with method number two now as for the second method goes we're going to be killing the boss Riker, you know the serpent king and one of the main things that we're going to be using is going to be called the serpent hunter make sure if you guys are using this you want to have this weapon at plus 10 so make sure you do have it basically fully upgraded we're also going to be using the dragon communion seal also if you don't have any of this stuff you guys know just check the pin comment down below and i will have everything used in the video so you can obtain it before going to fight uh these bosses but once you guys have that you can also put on an ancient dragon's lightning strike uh as well because you can use that to kill him but it's not really necessary i just wanted to throw that out there to let you guys know you can't use that in this boss battle but the main thing we will be needing right here is Akio's flame this is the main this is the bread and butter of the method that i'm going to show you guys well this is actually a glitch slash cheese because of what we're going to be doing you guys will see it once i do get into the arena with him but once you guys have that you want to keep the same wondrous physic from method one that i did show you that uh has the stamina and stuff in it and once you guys have all that stuff you are completely good to go and here's what you guys are going to be doing all right so what you guys are going to do once you transverse the mist is go ahead and run up to Riker. you're just going to get close enough so that his health bar does pop up as soon as his health bar does pop up you're just going to simply turn around make sure you do have out your dragon seal and your aglio's flame and what you're basically going to do is come to this corner make a jump and while you're in the air you're going to cast Aguil's flame and as soon as you land you're going to jump cast Aguil's flame again and continuously spam an x until you move forward up the cliff just like that now if you guys need to see that again in slow motion here it is
Now, hopefully you guys uh, caught a hang of that and you saw what I did. It's really easy and really simple once you guys, you know, practice it. But basically, you're gonna make your way over to these little sides of the area. You can either use the left side of this rock that I'm at, or you can use the right side of the same side that, uh, that I'm on right now. It's two ledges and there's one in the middle that you guys can work with. But basically what you're gonna be using is the Serpent Hunter, as you guys can see. And the move that you're gonna be using is the R1 move. You don't wanna use the special attack, which is gonna be L2. You wanna use the R1 move for his phase one, like you guys see me doing right now. Also, the uh, things that can hit you up here, as you guys are seeing on screen right now, is gonna be his poison. So just be mindful of that. Don't sit in the poison if it does hit you. Like I said, you guys just wanna switch sides like I'm doing in the video and just continuously spam him out until he is dead. The Serpent Hunter works the best, like I said. So that's what you guys are gonna wanna be using when you are in here. Also, you do get the Serpent Hunter out of here if you guys did not know. It is land in here once you do enter the arena. But once uh, phase one is done, you guys can either sip from your Wondrous Physic with the stamina, or you can bite the turtle neck like I just did right there. Now, as soon as phase two starts, you don't wanna use no mimic or nothing. You wanna hurry up and go back to the spot where we did uh, in phase number one, which is gonna come to this corner, cast the Aguil's Flame, uh, once it goes away once, you're just gonna jump again and cast it once again. Now you guys might do get hit when you're up here, but if you do, don't panic, just get up and uh, hurry up and jump. And now here's the most important thing of phase two, which is gonna be his uh, skull barrage, like the red skulls is gonna be chasing you guys, as you can see on screen right now. So here is the thing that you guys can do to avoid this. One, you can either hurry up and cast the uh, special attack like you guys see me doing right there, uh, by holding L2 in phase number two. like um, And that kind of delays the red skulls from coming out. As you guys can see, it's taking them a minute to get to me, but he will, the ones that he has casted out, they will hit you if you are not doing an attack fast enough. And if he has casted these upon you, the only thing I can recommend you guys to do is like I'm doing in the video right now, is run for your life and uh, continuously dodge and roll and heal yourself because these skulls are relentless and they will follow you all over the map. But once you guys have survived, you know, the first um, little skull barrage, I don't think he does it again because you're going to just want to continuously spam him, like I said, with the L2 special attack. And that will just break all the animations that he will do. And he cannot do anything to hurt you at all, as you guys are seeing. And uh, yeah, also, that is the only thing that can hit you up here, his uh, special red attack. So just keep that in mind. Once you have survived that, go ahead and spam him out. Go crazy. Do not give him an opportunity to do anything at all. Continuously break his posture like you guys see me doing in the video right now. And uh, like I said, he cannot hit you with nothing but that. So just go to town. And once you guys have killed him, make sure that you do pop a gold foul pickle foot before. Uh, I don't know if I got the extra runes. I cannot tell because I kind of activated it with a split second left. But you do get 500,000 runes for defeating him. And that's just the easiest way to defeat him after the most recent patch 1.05. And also, if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. But let's get into the third and final um, glitch, which is going to be an unlimited rune glitch. So let's get started. And now for this unlimited rune glitch, you guys are going to want to make sure that you start at the Zarmir rune like I'm at right now and basically from this side of grace all you're gonna do is get on torrent and follow the path that I'm going to right now in the video and basically once you guys get to this cliff like I'm on right now you're gonna jump towards like the middle like I'm gonna show you guys and we're gonna be doing the delayed double jump and uh, you should land like in between some rocks if you guys have done it correctly and it will look exactly like this Boom, just like that. Now, when you guys land in that general area, basically what this is gonna allow you to do is gonna pop up this message right here saying choose revival location and what you guys are gonna pick is the stake of Marika. Now, I know you guys might be saying, where is this gonna lead you to? And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly right now as soon as I do uh, load up this little load screen. But boom, it's gonna basically take you to the hidden path uh, to the hell tree. And now I know you guys might be saying, so what does this glitch basically do? So this is gonna be an after patch 1.5 of the concentrated snowfield glitch. And now if you guys don't remember that glitch, it was basically a glitch where you would just jump off and it will basically lead you to the stake of Marika. And once you guys did get over here, you will be able to go to the Ordinia town where we're gonna be doing the unlimited room glitch. But they did patch that in the most recent patch 1.05. So this is just the workaround for it. However, once you guys have made your way over and you've done that jump correctly, what you wanna do is set a waypoint like where I have right now in the middle of the map and just travel over. 
All right, now once you guys do arrive in the town, make sure you do obtain this side of grace. But basically what you guys are gonna do is break the seal in the town of Ordinia. If you guys don't know how to do that, like I said, please check the pin comment down below. It will be a video in there explaining it. But basically what you guys are gonna do once you have broken the seal is make sure that you are using the gold foul pickle foot like you guys are seeing me do right there and follow the path I'm showing you guys on screen right now, which is around those little corners and just come up the stairs like I'm doing right now. And you wanna be behind this teleporter like so. And basically what we're gonna do is the delay double jump method towards the right side and uh, if you guys have done that correctly it will look exactly like this and now as you guys can see if you have done that second jump correctly all you want to do is make sure that you are spamming um your weapon that's in your right hand and basically it will make you be falling endlessly like you guys see me doing right now and that is how you know you guys have done that correctly now i will say after the most recent patch 1.05 you have to jump in a very specific area to get this glitch to work so please do keep that in mind make sure you do jump in the area that i did in the video so you can get this to work every single time but basically once you guys are falling endlessly all you want to do is simply wait and you will be spark with runes after a certain period of time now i made sure i did leave my rune count on zero so i can give you guys the actual you know correct amount and that's basically what i'm about to do so i'll be right back once i have been sparked with those runes all right, now as you guys can see, you get around 300,000 runes for doing that. I got 292,000, which is just 8,000 runes off of 300,000. So that's basically how much you will get uh, by doing that. And it's very simple, it's very easy, and it's quick. It, and it also does not involve any parkour. And that is basically the after patch for after the most recent patch 1.05. Everything in this video is tested and working, so you guys can do it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys for all the love and support you've been showing. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Don't forget to join my Discord. Also, don't forget to check out today's video sponsor which is Guapchi. It is me your boy Charles Decay. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.